Check AI Vehicle Inspection API Integration. Why reinvent the wheel when you can partner up? For virtual vehicle appraisals, lease trade-in valuations, and auto remarketing solutions. Anton is the CEO, ready to answer your questions. So join the live chat, say hello, make new friends, and learn from the best on ATI Auto Business. What's up, ecosystem? Welcome back to ATI Auto Business Tuesday Nights Live, where everyone learns more about the automotive industry. Let's get started with some industry news. We have a great show tonight. We're going to talk about used cars, market, Q1, Q2, 2023, 2024. We've got Baltimore Port Auto Disruption updates, some international shipping updates. And then at the quarter hour, Anton is the CEO of Check AI. You want to learn more about the API integration that Check AI provides. Plus, we have Chris Garcia. He's the head of sales at AnyLine. He is going to join us. Uh, do me a favor. If you've got an extra like that you can leave for us, click share, click copy, grab that YouTube link. We're live on YouTube. We're live on LinkedIn. Let me know how the audio is, mic check one, two, three. Please say hello in the live chat, ask your questions, share your thoughts, grow your business. So this is show 341, right? Note to self, this is not Tuesday Nights Live anymore. We're now the automotive ecosystem. It's the same show, it's just packaged a little tighter. Um, Anton is with us now. Uh, the company is Check. Our feature interview tonight is Check AI Vehicle Inspections. Check AI Vehicle Inspections. Anton is the CEO, and he's going to be with us and talking more. Now, uh, I'm really hooked on seeing the damage from a virtual inspection, and that is what tonight's show is about. We're going to be talking about that. In fact, I did a vehicle inspection report, and I thought it was cool because I did this Friday. I got the email that said, here's how you do it. Follow these easy steps. So I clicked on that, and I didn't have to install an app or anything. It was just a, a web link and told me to, okay, it's time to inspect your vehicle. Make sure it's ready to go. Park in a well-lit place. Simple instructions. And, yeah. Yeah. And hey man, tilt your phone, do that, get set, and then it starts guiding you through. I found that the the kind of the overlay guides really easy to use all around the car. And I don't know, a couple minutes later, you have a finalized inspection. So wow, that's pretty cool. So we're gonna talk about that tonight. I got the web link and I got the photos and I even got an estimate. So we'll be looking at that. Chris from AnyLine, he's with us also. He's going to talk about collaboration with Check and the API integration. And uh, AnyLine is AI power data capture for automotive experts. We're going to learn more about what their business expertise in VINs and tire management. You know, we always talk about know your ecosystem, OEM dealer auction. Even this thing has been updated because it's a constant search for the best information. And there's no resting on laurels when it comes to searching for value and best information, the best way to share it. Had this great show last Tuesday night ahead of Auto Intel Summit. This Man, this show was, did really well. There was a lot of great speakers, and Auto Remarketing went ahead and featured. This was the next day. Oh, thank you so much, Auto Remarketing. I really needed that. Um, you know I work hard on this show. If you tune in, you know how much time and energy I put into this channel, into these shows, into the media, and I couldn't be more thankful 
uh, for this feature in Auto Remarketing Magazine. I went ahead and shared it. That started blowing up. So, again, thank you so much, Auto Remarketing. I really appreciate it. Um, and to show thanks, then I shared a, uh, this was a short that I shared today about the what, the so what, and the now what. This was Joe Overby talking to Alan Nanasinkum on that show last Tuesday, so look for that. We had a great show on industry logistics last Thursday. Um, what brokers do better than carriers, also known as genius marketing and automotive. Actually, that was a pretty amazing discussion. I'll try to release more shorts about that. Have another great discussion lined up this Thursday on industry logistics, Baltimore Bridge Automotive Impact with some OEM car hauler experts. You've seen them before on ATI. Uh, we got Rod, Joe Bercari, John Larrick, Derek Hopkins, and we are looking at, I mean, that, you know, you know there's been impact. We got some updates. We're going to be talking about some of that information tonight here on Auto Ecosystem News. Here we go. Top of the story, five minutes in. Now, I found the news a little light, and I wondered if it was because of the solar eclipse. I know the eclipse lasted, what, minutes? But it pretty much took up all of Monday. So here's to the solar eclipse. It was worth it. It was cool. And if you missed it, don't worry. There's another one in like 20 years. But there was news. Auction net data. Strongest Q1 for auction sales volume in four years. Let me read it again because of we, as we dive in. Strongest Q1 for auction sales volume in four years. Great headline. Let's look at it. There were 1.7 million units sold at auction in Q1 2024, which beats a year ago figure by 7%, says the AAA. Breaking it down seller by seller type, sales from dealers up 3%. From February, the third consecutive month over month gain, sales from commercial consigners were down 2% month over month. Despite three straight month over month increases, dealer sales over the quarter were down 5.4% versus a year ago, while commercial sales were up nearly 28%. In Q1, dealers had a 54% share of auction sales volume with commercial consigners at 46%. Battery electric vehicle sales still represent a small portion of the overall auction market, 1.4%. <laughs> I'm sorry. Total unit sales uh, from 2023 to 2024 overall market, a change of negative 4%. I, I don't know. I, I, I just keep going. Pass. Used car prices to fall as wholesale prices decline. The wholesale prices car dealers pay for the used cars they sell later dropped in March. Wholesale price changes became retail price changes about six to eight weeks ago. Moving back, moving forward. So the news likely means lower prices coming to the used car sales lot near you. Remember, six to eight weeks trickle down. Used car prices have been in a slow, steady decline through 2024. News comes from Kelly Blue Book parent company, Cox Automotive. The index finished March 14.7% lower than a year ago. And used car prices usually increase slightly this time of year as tax returns allow many Americans to start car shopping. Therefore, you can raise the price because they got a little bit more money. Just saying. So I read this a week ago. I questioned it. Baltimore Bridge disaster impact on auto sales supply chain expected to be minimal? Yeah, I don't think so. Uh, car shipper faces up to $10 million. A $10 million hit from Baltimore Bridge collapse. Wellenius Wilhelmsen, one of the largest car shipping companies, said it expects 5 to $10 million hit to its earnings from Baltimore Bridge disaster. Sounds like a lot. Wait for the contrast. The impact is a result of reduction in logistics operations. One of its ships being unable to exit the port. Yeah, that would be expensive. 
some of the effects have been mitigated by rewriting cargo. But, um, oh, just to add this, Port of Baltimore rolls more cars off and on than any other in the states. And there's Wallenius Wilhelmsen right at the center of it. Before that container ship hit that bridge, America's busiest vehicle port had an orderly process for moving vehicles around the world. Chaos. So, uh, good news, Wilhelmsen Wilhelmsen wins a billion dollar shipping deal. This marks their fifth multi-year contract, uh, bringing the cumulative total of all contracts to just $1.79 billion. So, dad, $10 million. Be all right. It's just a logistics deal. Francis Scott Key Bridge collapse. Shipping channel expected to be partially open by the end of the month. With full reopening anticipated by, anticipated by end of May. That's good news. And there's an $8 million grant which will double auto capacity at Port of Baltimore's only unaffected terminal. New parking lots at Trade Point Atlantic will allow Sparrows Point to welcome more ships after the bridge collapse. Said Biden. The funding of the expedited paving of 10 acres of new parking lots will allow Sparrows Point to take on more ships Trade Point expects to welcome six scheduled and nine redirected ships carrying 10,000 cars. In the meantime, five acres of the terminal have been set aside for storage of the bridge. Transportation Secretary Buttigieg says the funding for the additional vehicle lots came through an increase to a maritime administration grant that previously had been awarded to Baltimore County. So now we know where the money came from. That actually is a smart move letting people know. And... Virginia Port onboards Baltimore truckers amid cargo diversions. Facilities from Florida to New England may handle auto-centric shipments. As diverted Baltimore cargo lands in Virginia, Delaware, Pennsylvania, Florida, truckers and port officials are working out processing details and committed to helping. Awesome. The Port of Virginia is focused now on helping Maryland motor carriers integrate their data into reservation systems to ensure seamless transactions when they arrive. Awesome. To underscore the efforts, Port of Virginia welcomed new truckers on its Facebook page with information about its operations portal and a guide to ask accessing its facilities. Awesome. Operations.portofvirginia.com. Check it out. We would like to welcome you. And there's the, there's the page, operations.portofvirginia.com. It's awesome. In other news, cars are piling up at European ports at an alarming rate. This has nothing to do with the bridge collapse. Companies are struggling with a slowdown in car sales as well as logistical bottlenecks turning ports into car parks. Or does it? Doesn't it? Imported vehicles are seriously piling up at European ports, turning them into car parks. Automakers are distributors. Automakers are distributors and automakers distributors are struggling with a slowdown in car sales as well as logistical bottlenecks making it hard to alleviate the buildup of new unsold vehicles port and car industry execs have pointed to a pileup of chinese electric cars as one of the leading causes of the problem with some companies booking shipping delivery slots without ordering onward transportation you don't you don't want to do that Car makers in general are struggling to order trucks because of the lack of drivers and equipment to move the vehicles on. This is in Europe. Some car industry execs say Chinese car makers were not selling their vehicles in Europe as fast as they expected. Some Chinese brand EVs have been sitting in European ports for up to 18 months. One car logistics expert said that many of the unloaded vehicles were simply staying in the ports until they were sold to distributors or end users. It's chaos! Maersk opens a Tijuana logistics facility for cross-border services. Maersk has opened a 30,000 square foot, square meter, cross-dock warehouse in Tijuana. Maersk said the facility can provide sorting, storage, cross-docking, inventory management, packaging, and repackaging, and order fulfillment alongside a range of other value-added services. So that's they're doing it all, auto and freight. Maersk has been targeting integrated logistics services in Mexico for years. 
says it now has 150,000 square meters of logistics space across Mexico with ambitious plans for expansion, additional capabilities in Guadalajara and Monterrey. Cool. Uh, so I told you, <laughs> doing what? So I told you we had this great show a week ago. And what we're going to do is Auto Intel Summit's coming up April 23rd through 25th. And um, so I'm going to do kind of a live stream with Joe and Nick. They're going to be live at Auto Intel Summit. And um, man, there's exhibitors and sponsors and podcasters and sessions and lots to talk about. So that's going to be in two weeks. We're going to go live. I'll do an early show going live from Auto Intel Summit. Uh, also, you know, if you might know, we did a show... NARS, North American Repo Summit. We did an energy show here. Oh, it was maybe February. And what's happening now is there's a countdown to NARS. It's right around the corner. So what we're going to do is uh, North American Repossessor Summit is starts, well, I think I think unofficially there's stuff going on tomorrow. But the, um, the summit is Thursday the 11th, Friday the 12th. I'm going to be live with Renee and others and there's man this is the list of exhibitors at nars this is there's a lot of companies here and so we're hoping to catch up with some of them say hello we're going to go live after lunch on friday early afternoon and hope to also learn more about important topics now the body armor is i believe chris with vestige view should be joining us on the live stream, so we'll learn more about that. So this is an explanation of how you can leverage ATI in your business. Go to atiautobusiness.com, click on Contact Us. By the way, TAQ Online Calculator, more information coming out, uh, updates, and uh, etc. And Mark might be in the live chat to answer your questions. If you have any questions, get the podcast. Find out about the ecosystem. That's ATI. Do me a favor, stick around because right after this, we're going to be live with Anton, CEO of Czech AI Vehicle Inspections. We'll be right back. The evolution of transportation. In the beginning of car shipping, there were stone tablets and woolly mammoths. Very primitive vehicle delivery. Then, horse-powered haulers with mile-long paper BOLs causing enormous time hassle and massive stacks of paperwork. For dealers, shippers, and carriers, what were we thinking? But now, with modern technology and cell phone mobile apps, simply click a button, order quick, reliable auto transport to pick up and deliver your cars safely and on time. It's instant car shipping at the best market rate. Start saving money today and get signed up. Visit OneAuctionView.com. Are you completely stressed out from all the calls and the contracts and the verifications of loads where nobody ever answers the phone? Call Murphy Auto Dispatch Services today. Murphy Auto Dispatch Services has over 15 years in the transport industry. We are your office while you are on the road. We book, we verify, and we bill out your loads for you. We have an excellent accounting staff and an even better dispatch team. Give us a call today at 417-273-0021. Or if you want to email me, it's murphyautotransport31 at yahoo.com. Give us a call today. Need help shipping a car or keeping a carrier loaded? Murphy Auto Transport Services is a fully licensed broker and offers professional dispatch services. Visit murphyautotransportservices.com. Links are in the live chat. Thank you so much. All right, here we go. Please do help me wish a very warm welcome to our feature guest tonight, Anton. Can you see me and hear me okay? Yes, perfect. Jay, hi. Hey, I can see you, I can hear you, do me a favor, please say hello and tell the audience a little bit more about you. Yes, hi Jay, thanks a lot for having me here. Uh, yeah, I'm um, co-founder and CEO of Czech, uh, so I founded Czech in uh, 2016 and uh, we are deep tech in mobility 
we are experts in uh, data analysis uh, to automate um, car inspection uh, through AI. So we make sure that we get all the data we need, so out of pictures, videos, documents, uh, to deliver uh, vehicle inspection. And uh, for example, we are able to say, if we see a, um, a door uh, in picture or in video, we're able to say, uh, here's a scratch and it's gonna cost uh, that much behind. And that's thanks to our uh, AI, so Alto AI platform. So we are, uh, we just launched, uh, I don't know, maybe a few weeks ago, uh, three weeks ago, uh, the 3.3 uh, version uh, with higher uh, performance, uh, precision and, uh, uh, and recall uh, mainly uh, uh, to see and detect all those uh, damage uh, on on the car. Uh, but I, I saw you just uh, mentioned before that uh, you did the experience uh, of uh, taking a car in picture, and happy to discuss that uh, with you, Jay. Well, thank you, Anton. Uh, and before I get into how you make something complicated sound so simple, you are. Where are you joining us from right now? Uh, Czech is a um, European uh, company based in France. Uh, so I'm just calling you from Marseille, France. It's uh, 2 a.m. now uh, and happy to join. It's, it's 2 a.m. in Marseille. It's been always awake. Sounds been amazing. Always ready. That sounds amazing. Um, all right. So now and, and with that, that also gets into, because when we first started talking, you were talking about European market, which is also interesting. I mean, you have you have a lot to add, um, and I, I, I'm not sure where to start as far as, should we start with progress of the tech itself, or markets, or verticals? Let's talk a little bit of industry. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. So what about the uh, industry? I, I know that uh, um, so, uh, vehicle inspection is um, important in every step of uh, life cycle of a car. So each time you have a risk transfer, you can have an inspection. And so that's exactly what we are doing uh, with Czech, uh, automating this uh, vehicle inspection through AI. Um, and we are focused in several um, segments, um, so in Europe, but not only, uh, through uh, automating the um, uh, trading inspection uh, to to have an uh, appraisal uh, to be able to uh, deliver actually a guaranteed price uh, to the end user and buy the car uh, from uh, our analysis. Uh, we are also automating uh, leasing um, inspection, so end of lease or pre-inspection end of lease. Uh, we do also uh, rental uh, inspection, so checking, check out. So that's our main uh, focuses. Uh, but as I said, yeah, you have an inspection each time you have a risk transfer. So it's like uh, more than 15 times uh, on the life cycle uh, on a vehicle. Uh, there are more than 3 billion billions, um, inspection in the world. Uh, so yeah, huge markets and uh, and we make sure that we automate it and give the good data actually to our uh, customers to take decision at the end. So either buy a car, sell a car, lease a car, rent a car, et cetera. Um, yeah, that's what we do. Right. And you said something important just there that uh, the decision making. So because we're always having to up the game, we now know there might be a few options for virtual vehicle appraisal. So not only are you letting me know the damage information, but you're translating that into price. Exactly, because uh, at the end, uh, it's quite easy to do, and it's maybe the link uh, through the uh, technical side, but it's quite easy to do uh, AI on image analysis. But at the end, what uh, our customer needs is, and what the industry needs, is uh, to take a deci decision and most of the time is out of uh, the price and the cost of the repairs so uh, when we talk about an appraisal it's of course the price repair uh, so the car body uh, uh, repair cost estimation for example so that's what we do we link uh, the data from the images to or the video etc 
to uh, the uh, the final price uh, to take a de decision. And we do that not only on car body, but also on interior pictures, uh, tires, uh, glass, etc. So we have lots of different models, uh, making sure that we don't miss anything on the vehicle inspection data. And then when you talk about API integration, what you're encouraging folks to do is find out how to integrate, partner, rather than purchasing your solution, but partnering. What's your what's your business model there? You, I think you said reseller. Tell me more, because yeah. you say it better so than business I do. Is quite, the business model is quite simple. It's a SaaS uh, business model. So uh, and. Uh, yeah, as you said, actually we uh, we are able and we make sure that our product is really easy and plug and play to use. So you can use it. Our customers and the industry can use it um, either through an API, as you said. So they have their own pictures and they uh, send us the pictures, so we analyze them. Or uh, we can also be integrated uh, as a white label solution, uh, and we developed our own. Uh, self-inspection solution, for example, to take pictures, guide it as you showed uh, at the beginning of the show, your show, and that was also a um, uh, white label process uh, that y you had. So I probably should deliver the goods and go ahead and share. Here it is, first time on ATI camera one. Oh. First time on ATI, we're going to look at Jay's car. <laughs> Vehicle inspection. Also, also this, yeah, this is what she's a beaut. She runs great. Um, this, I, I did this Friday. I went through the steps and, um, you know, I'm in the Midwest. So, you know, there's all these, you know, beautiful places to do a 360 report of your car. So, and uh, by the way. <laughs> Up here, before we get to the pictures, man, oh man, I, I can, I could just see, like, let's say you're doing a rental return, and th and then the price comes back of all the, right? Like, this is pretty wild. This is, we're gonna see what this is based on, but these are the repair estimates of all the different chips, scratches, dents. On my car, it's good That's stuff. Okay, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> see, it looks That's good. exactly the. No, the, the, you the, could drive this right off the lot. Forget about all that stuff. Yeah, no. I agree. I agree, Jay. I agree, Jay. <laughs> but yeah, that's um, uh, at the end all the data we can get out of your pictures to, uh, yeah, replace or repair all your all the car body uh, uh, damages, for example. So, um, as we look at this, so like, tell me more about what is this screen telling me? Um, that's just an overview um, with a pattern uh, of all the damages we saw. So, yeah, we saw uh, wow. here. Look uh, at all that high severity, really? Wow. Jeez. Okay, so I guess we're going to get through, we're going to explain... We're going to get some explanations on some of this. Um, all right, here we go. So we've got, oh, a dislocated part. Wow. That's a lot of, uh, it's pretty specific. So, right, because some inspections just require basic information. But that's pretty specific. I can't it say is, I even it's, knew it's that. It's important. It's important uh, because if you have here a dislocated part, that means that you may have an accident with your front bumper and maybe you need to change it. <laughs> um, blurry light. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, that's true. They're blurry. Uh, let's, what do we got here? Oh, yeah, no, that was, yeah, I got jacked up. Let's see here. Uh, oh, wow, that's a pretty minor scratch, but picked it right up. 
broken but part. Depending on the business, yeah. it does count. And uh, yeah. what is interesting also is that you can uh, trigger um, our AI uh, to see more or less damages. Of course, you can do. Oh, we, we have can. also That's a wear and tear feature. That's nice. Okay, yeah, there's a dent, little dent. That's pretty small, but there it is. And again, these are all from photos. I'm, I'm, I'm going to guess someone's going to ask, does this work with video? Where are you on the process of a video walk around? Because I took photos matching your overlays. Is video yeah, next? We do also. You do. We do also video, um, okay. video analysis, uh, mainly through uh, API. Now, there are pros and cons regarding pictures uh, and videos, but. Uh, so we kind of get through, we go around, we do the whole car walk around, getting scratches, dents. Ooh, wow, look at that deep impact. Huh. All right. Oh, and the wheel, right, wheel stuff. Yeah, right. Probably some scratches on the rim. Another blurry light. Okay. And then, yeah, then I even noticed it asked me for... Then also, we did some dash and documents, things like that. The VIN. What else does, in, in your in your full package or some of your packages, tell me more about what some clients are looking for and, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah, depends really on the use case, actually. But uh, uh, when you have um, uh, a process uh, for an appraisal, for example, and uh, it's an end user who does the process, you have some quite some time. So you can ask uh, some more uh, data, uh, and all the data we get, we analyze it. And the more data we have, the uh, more accurate we're going to be in the analysis, of course. Uh, but you can also be in a more uh, fast process, for example, on a, uh, at a car dealer uh, to do also a trading inspection. Uh, so on-site inspection with a customer in front of you, so you want to be really fast on it. So you can, all, for example, only take four pictures that we're going to be able to do at the analysis, but uh, it won't be as accurate maybe. Uh, so really depends. And as I, as I said, uh, we do white label processes, but uh, we can also configure all the process uh, depending on the use case really easily. Um, so now you entered in process with 10 pictures, I guess, but you can choose, for example, our customers to between 4 and 16 pictures. Yeah, I, I tell you, what I liked is, uh, with minimal instruction, you sent me the email, I, I clicked on it, I didn't have to download an app, I really liked that, and I didn't have any problems, I didn't have any connection problems, I, I really didn't have any problems. There were many overlays, but as you said, you could check, you could set those settings. And I, what was going through my mind is, when when renting a rental car, this would be ideal, because I, I'm always. It's not very often, but in a rental car situation, if they just hand me a piece of paper, you know, they, they can be very laissez-faire. Here's a piece of paper, make some damages, sign it, and, and drive away. And I'm thinking, that's that's it? There's not more? What if, you know, what if a rock hits the car during the rental or whatever? I don't feel like it was properly, and, you know, so this would be check in and check out, and then, I don't know. Yeah, that's exactly what we do, actually, in the rental field also with uh, Avis Budget, for example. Uh, and uh, yeah, as you said, it's really easy to use because we uh, build it so uh, an end user who never uh, did an inspection can do it really easily uh, because it's guided flow uh, with masks, etc. Uh, and uh, yeah, so happy you had the experience and you can tell that uh, it's easy to use. And right. I, I, maybe I can yeah. share a quick, um, oh. quick uh, video Please. Uh, on how it's... Uh, working uh, so it's gonna give a bit of more uh, I can share my screen here it's gonna give I some th more context I think the on vehicle inspection the space is I think it's extremely fascinating it's fast growing okay yeah I can see yours I can see the screen and then if you're if there's sound to share uh, you may have to click a button on a setting on that but I just 
There's so much happening in this space. This is awesome. So I'm yeah, ready when you, Tell when, me when, you when I can uh, click on. Yeah, play, go ahead. Jay. Take it. Take it away. Go. Let's go. So that's what you did. Actually, you received an, uh, an, a link, and that's the process you did. So that's uh, our process when uh, uh, you use our self-inspection tool. So you can, of course, uh, use a check through API just by sending the pictures. And so that, there is one first uh, process. I didn't know. I don't know if you saw it, uh, Jay, but it's actually a quality control process where we, you have instant reply on if the image is good enough or not. So if it's too blurry, too uh, too dark, too light, etc., we ask the end user to take again a picture instantly. So we we are sure that we have the best uh, images uh, to do the best uh, inspection, of course. And after we analyze all this with our, we have more than 20 different models, uh, AI models who talk together each other to make sure that we uh, get the best results. And that's the same results you 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 got uh, on your side and you just showed uh, with all the different damages. We saw the same patterns, uh, the same different uh, damage detected. And just before we saw also all the, um, Repair cost estimation. So that was just quick and show the process, really easy to use uh, process, etc. Yeah, no, I'm glad you showed that. And, and you made me think about, right, I was middle of the day, outside, no buildings, so I didn't have any trouble getting great clarity shots. But I could imagine, yeah, let's say, you know, you've got your luggage and there's, you know, you're in a parking garage and it's a strange time and strange lighting. Yeah, maybe there could yeah. be some limitations yeah. there, but. But you don't need that much uh, space. Uh, uh, of course, you need a minimum of space to take a picture, but it's a bit the same if you do it uh, manually. You need some space between two cars to see uh, on the side of the car, and uh, you, you need to have the good lighting also. But yeah, you as we're doing remote inspection, uh, with uh, end users who are not used to inspection, we guide the most uh, we can, uh, and uh, this feature to 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 guide and uh, detect the quality of the uh, picture is really important for for our customers and the end users. Well, uh, gosh, I'm pretty sure I know s at least somebody who would want to learn more about how to integrate with their current solutions. But before I get to contact information, we're going to bring in Chris. Do me a favor, Anton. Stay where you are. Stay where you are. We'll be right back. We're going to bring in Chris and keep this conversation going. Please put your questions into the live chat, whether you're live or on demand. And we'll be right back. Auction V Commerce is the universal support solution to help brick and mortar auctions respond to the needs of digital buyers and sellers with greater efficiency, accountability, and more access. Auction V Commerce is a bridge between the dealers of the past and the auction of the future. Transport Auto Quoter is by far the leading auto quoting software on the market and the only auto quoter with a pro version that comes preset with accurate pricing for anywhere in the U.S. So you don't have to worry about it. The best part is that no change with your current software is needed. Just plug TAQ in and start booking jobs. Carriers can easily plug TAQ into their current websites and start making money right away. I bet you're wondering how we do this instantly and accurately 24-7. Well, constant analytics is the key. Our price watch team is constantly monitoring current market conditions, paying close attention to seasonal and quick-moving industry changes. At the end of the day, it takes a lot of time and data to maintain good pricing, time that most of us just don't have on a daily basis. So free yourself up. Using TAQ Pro is really a no-brainer. Save time and money, maximizing your leads and optimizing your online investments. You'll finally be able to sleep well at night knowing that TAQ is on the job selling for you 24-7. Never missing a potential job. Don't lose any more sleep worrying about missing leads. Get Transport Auto Quoter to quote the right price 
the first time, every time. Run your business with TAQ. Visit transportautoquoter.com. Links are in the live chat. All right, here we go. Please do help me wish a very warm welcome to Chris Garcia is the head of sales at any line. Chris, can you see me and hear me okay? Hey, Jay, I've got you loud and clear. Great. We can see you. We can hear you. Please do me a favor. Say hello and tell us a little bit more about you. Yes. So uh, first off, everybody, thanks for joining in. Uh, Chris Garcia, I, I lead our sales here at AnyLine for the U.S. market. Uh, I also lead our automotive business. So I, I have the privilege to work with a number of our largest customers, uh, many of which you'd probably be familiar with, like the discount tires of the world, uh, the every fleets of the world. Um, so uh, in particular, um, here at AnyLine, we have different solutions and our solutions are all geared around tire and vehicle inspection. So basically helping technicians and drivers to be able to capture that information faster uh, and more accurately as well, right? So using things like AI, using things like computer vision, we're able to take nothing more than the camera of a smartphone and actually turn it into a powerful device to be able to digitize information. Fantastic. So do me a favor, Anton, take the wheel. We talked about bringing Chris in to help us continue this conversation. What do you guys talk about in your daily or yeah. interactions? Yeah, yeah. I think the, the, um, uh, the common thing in our introduction is vehicle inspection. So we are doing uh, all the uh, outside of the car, inside of the car, in terms of car body, interior, etc and there is some uh, synergy of course with any line because the uh, uh, tire inspection is one uh, important part and who completes uh, then the inspection uh, and yeah a lot of uh, uh, the industry is looking uh, for that also in um, uh, inspection of a car uh, because it's security but i'm sure that chris uh, has some more uh, interesting uh, insights regarding tires yeah, yeah. So I think um, Anton hit it right on, right? It's It comes down to an inspection and, you know, just thinking about how inspections have been done, which uh, you had a, a funny uh, ad where it shows, in, you know, vehicles and transport from the Stone Ages, right? But if, we, if we're serious, inspections have been done for decades and decades, right? And um, obviously, it's typically been a very manual process. You're very dependent upon the inspector, right, whether it's an appraiser, whether it's a driver or a technician, whoever's doing that inspection might vary, but it's very dependent on that individual to have um, a high level of skill to be able to be effective in that role. And I think that the reality is um, the great resignation has taught us uh, in, the, in the last couple of years, right, that we can't always rely on that as often as we would like to. Um, we have newer workers coming into the workforce, into these roles, and there's a new generation coming to fill these roles, right? Um, and the reality is there's just a better way to do it now. It's just still, I would say, probably a bit new, right? These Most of these tools have come about in the last decade, really. And so I think that um, it's becoming uh, something that's, you know, these companies, our, our customers are more aware of, uh, but it's certainly a process, right? And, and the great part is, it's something that once people try it, they see, wow, that was so easy and so effective. And so adoption actually tends to be pretty high. But it's definitely one of those things where, you know, we're talking about, you know, new new technologies. Granted, some of these have existed for some time. So I think we, we still certainly need to do our work to increase awareness. I'm going to jump in and say that you just made me think of one of the things that I like to see on LinkedIn that has nothing to do with business, which isn't. It's not everything that I see, but there are videos that come across that show how maybe in a factory, maybe candy getting made, maybe steel wire being bent. And you watch these videos and you see these processes performed by technology and hardware. And this is yet another process that can just be taken out of the manual arena. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. You're spot on, right? I mean, and, and it's funny, right? So Anton mentioned the tires, which is, has been a particular focus of ours, um, because really the reality is, and especially in an appraising situation, uh, the missing of those tires, right, and purchase of that vehicle 
could immediately cost you upwards of a thousand dollars right and we've had a number of uh, companies and, and customers now approach us with that exact problem right is i can't afford to have my appraisers miss this um, i need to make sure i have an objective easy simple quick way to get this information to action it on the spot um, and then in other use cases to store that information, right? So when we look at fleets is an interesting one, right? Hey, we want to optimize um, our tire maintenance, our, our you know vehicle maintenance in general, but especially tire control, right? And how can I get this information? Again, knowing I've got variability in, in the human elements of doing inspections, and how can I make it consistent across the board? And I'm the fleet manager sitting in Houston, but my driver in California just did an inspection, and I can see immediately if there's something that needs to be actioned on that tire. What's an example of how, how in your workflow, a, a, an inspection of a tire in real time, like you just mentioned, how's that happening? What's, what's that look like? Yeah. So it's really simple. Um, the great thing about our solutions is they, they plug in very similar to Anton, right? We're, we're using, you know, uh, SDKs and APIs here, right? So the, the design is such that we plug in first of all to a workflow that more than likely already exists and, and should already exist so we're not looking to add something new uh, in fact we want to integrate and make it seamless for the driver for the inspector uh, the appraiser to be able to use this solution but it's really that simple right they would go through i might start by scanning the vin or license plate of the vehicle right and again i say scanning right because i don't want to write down or manually key in a vin number long as they are a 17 digit number there's a lot of errors you could imagine that come there i can scan it in two seconds and then i can continue on with the workflow right i can go to the tires at that point and gather sidewall information i can and this is again important right we talk about appraising well, when you appraise a vehicle if the if there's ever a hope to have that as a pre-certified right uh the cert i apologize a certified pre-owned you need to make sure you have the oe tires on that vehicle and something that you know again if you're in the business you would know that uh, and this is just a simple way to validate that, you know, and automate this. And then, of course, we can check on treads and, you know, tread depth and things like that. So all of this with a mobile device, all of this with a cell phone, right? We're not talking about have some specialized hardware solution. Sim again, similar to check, right? You don't have to bring um, the highest quality camera in the entire world. Your iPhone and, and your Galaxy in, in almost all cases will work just fine. You also just made me think about, uh, right, you're in an Amazon warehouse. Things are moving a million miles an hour. People are not keying in codes and stuff. It's all scans, right? Everything. And so nobody should be typing in a VIN anymore or writing it down, right? Yes. For and you'd be, and, and we'd like to say that nobody is, but <laughs> conversations tell well, us. I think that. it's happening a lot probably still. It I is. Think I think even on a vehicle inspection, I think the guy wrote the VIN on the form. Yeah. I'm okay with that. I'm just saying that it leaves room for error. It does. Certainly. It does, right? Um, it, it really leaves a ton of room for error. And then it's just not, a, it's, it's not efficient, right? When I, you know, as a former business owner, I know the last thing I want my employees doing is, is anything other than, you know, serving customers, right? And, and whatever that takes. But if they're writing things down that they could just scan in seconds, well, now I'm wasting their time, especially when I'm talking about technicians, that's wrench time and that's going to cost me. So, you know, it's, it really does come down to that as well, right? We've, we've got, a, there's better ways to do it and, and we, we should really move to adopting those. Aren't there barcodes in all the doors now for vehicles, right? You yeah, absolutely. scan that barcode. That's been, that's been a feature now for decades um in in all vehicles that are manufactured and uh you know occasionally there are you there are some use cases where you may not be able to access that barcode so um and the great thing about our solutions right we certainly have the barcode scanner when you can get into the door jam when you can't access the door jam that's okay we can actually do it through the the windshield through ocr as well right that makes sense and i think anton you even had me shoot the VIN through the windshield, right? That was one of your, that was in your workflow. Yeah, um, exactly. We, we do the same. We, we read also the VIN, etc., on on pictures or documents. And yeah, yeah. as you mentioned, Chris, uh, we see it uh, a lot also uh, manually uh, in conversations. And uh, 
wishing to help in the industry to to make this a bit more automated and uh, in in the trends. Okay, so we're almost done. LLMs is kind of a buzzword, and people still have questions about AI. What would you like to share with people, just leading us through the rest of 2024, about what we're looking at, what to expect, what not to yeah. be afraid of, what to look forward to? Yeah, um, I think people um, know more about more and more about AI since uh, ChatGPT, and that's uh, I, I guess November 2022. But at Czech, for example, I don't know for for you, uh, Chris, but we started uh, deep learning, so it's uh, artificial intelligence since uh, 2016. So. It's uh, it's not um, a, a technology that uh, we know only for two years. We work on that since a long time, and uh, other people did way 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 before. Uh, uh, so it's something we don't need to be afraid. But it's growing really fast, and it's also helping all the industry to be more uh, used to it, uh, and it helps a lot. Uh, so it's uh, two different um, ways to do artificial intelligence. Uh, I mean, deep uh, deep learning, it's uh, way uh, deeper, I would say, with uh, lots of data uh, to, to be analyzed and uh, uh, than, um, uh, than uh, AI gen. Um, and uh, what we can expect is this uh, growing even more uh, and, and because it's really... Uh, having some uh, important uh, parts in, in the industry now. Uh, we use it uh, every day also uh, for, the, for the business. Uh, and uh, yeah, the next step, uh, I think uh, we can talk about uh, AI uh, generalization. Uh, I don't know if, if it's a term in English, but uh, that would be the second uh, stage of uh, AI. Uh, and we definitely want to be part of it also. Yeah. I, I'm yeah, I mean, you know, just to to add on, I, I one I agree with uh, Anton, and and similarly, right? We've we've been into you know building our our models now. Uh, well, geez, I think since maybe similar time frame, 2013 or so, right? And I think we we see the same thing, right? It's advancing quickly. Um, it's one of those things where I always like to put it in perspective, in the sense of I think that for some people, it's still a buzzword. And, and I was one of those people, right? I was absolutely one of those people, even as recent as a couple of years ago, but I can recall the first time I ever used ChatGPT and was just sort of blown away, right? At the power of the model, right? At how, how well it could actually uh, respond to the, the need that I had. Um, and I think that that's sort of, that instance, I think is what we're seeing more and more, right? As people adopt and use technology and AI, they're actually realizing, hey, what can it actually do for me? So I'm you know, tired at the end of my day, but I still have to do that inspection. How can I, how can I leverage these tools to really help me out? Um, you know, and I think that that's what's exciting is really when we, when we get the tools in the hands of customers and they can see how it works, how easy it is, how much it helps them, right? I think that's what's exciting about AI right now is uh, you know, the wave of adoption that's, that's slowly but surely growing. I think that, uh, in essence, AI helps should help us accomplish more faster. But I know that that right there sounds can sound wonky, especially if you live in a manual world. Especially if you work, if you're in driving and logistics, then you, you know the the road isn't going to get faster, the truck isn't going to move faster. But your ability to multitask while on the road should. Just as if you work in logistics, you should be able to manage more logistics faster or at least more at a time. However those things happen. And I, and I don't want to sound like pie in the sky shoulda on all this stuff, but I started using ChatGPT about a year ago. And that blew my mind. And I realized that then when I talk to people about AI... The first example I give is Grammarly. I'm pretty sure we all use Grammarly in one way or another. Isn't that in itself a form of AI? It right? is. Yeah. It, uh, it helps us all write better emails. 
mm -hmm. even if it's not grammarly, whatever it is. And that's at the core of the purpose of AI, is to help us be more accurate faster. And yeah. um, so I'm excited. I'm excited about logistics AI. I'm excited about just learning more about, so it's large language models, LLM, and more of these kinds of terms. And I got turned on to uh, AI Marketing Institute, Whatever field you're in, there's AI to help you accomplish more faster. And so I'm going to be looking into more AI all the time. For anybody that doesn't like AI, you're not going to like ATI <laughs> coming up because mm -hmm. I'm following AI. And But I, I'm also a realist about it, and I'm trying to keep it real. But... Uh, gentlemen, before I let you go, I want to ask, it, it, can you be contacted for further information? Absolutely, of course. Um, mm -hmm. Anton, do you want me to share your email address? Yep. Okay. A-N-T-O-N dot F-E-R-T at check dot A-I T-C-H-E-K dot A-I Perfect. And the website your website is check, check T C AI. right T C H E K C H E K dot A I. That's right. You can click on that. Um, Chris, do you want me to share your email address? Yeah, absolutely. I, I'll go ahead and actually. All right, perfect. Check I just it. perfect. If you chat it, I chatted it, and then it's anyline dot com is your uh, website. So I encourage anybody to check that out if you want to learn more about Chris and Anton. Uh, gentlemen, I want to thank you so much for your time and Anton for your stamina. In the middle of the night, always. live from Marseille. <laughs> right, exactly. Always awake. Right. Sky is in the live chat. He knows when you work in, uh, yeah, when you work in tech, yeah, you're, you're always awake. Pretty much. So, uh, I will do this. I will let you go. Thank you so much for your time and your input. This was an awesome conversation. Thank you, gentlemen. Thanks to you. Thanks to you, Jay. And have a nice night. I appreciate you. All right. And that's a cut. All right, cool. There we go. Cool. Uh, and I want to thank you so much for staying tuned in. I really do appreciate it. Thank you, One Auction View, Murphy Auto Transport Services, Auction V Commerce, Transport Auto Quoter. Thanks for jumping in the live chat. If you got an idea, you've got some AI, you've got a vertical, OEM, dealer, auction, logistics, remarketing, recon, compliance, business development, ATI, auto business, is where everyone can learn more about the automotive business. Thank you so much. Please do join us. Let's see, we got Thursday, noon, Industry Logistics, Baltimore Port, Automotive Impact, that's happening. And then Friday, live with uh, North American Repo Summit, that'll happen probably around, actually we'll get started around 11.30 Central, so think noon on that this Friday as well. Thanks so much, everybody. We'll see you soon. Peace out. Good night. Mm -hmm.